Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a haul. I'm going to show you all of the makeup products I purchased while I was in Vancouver. So I went for a vacation for a week with my fiance and it was an amazing trip. I really, really enjoyed it. I saw some family there. We saw some of his family. Uh, we went to do some touristy kind of things and of course got a lot of shopping in. So let's get into the haul. The first lipstick is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is from Urban Decay. The shade is Notorious. It's a comfort matte lipstick. So while I was in Vancouver, I actually got to meet up with Anya. I've been watching her channel for years. We kind of watched each other since we started our channels and it was amazing to finally meet up with her. We did some shopping and we both got the same shade which is one that I will definitely get a lot of use out of. So it's a beautiful purple cream lipstick, really pigmented, super opaque, and very creamy on the lips. And I really wanted to try out these lipsticks. I believe this formula is new, and it's supposed to be very long wearing. From MAC, I got two lipsticks in quite similar colors, but when you apply them to the lips, they are totally different. So this is their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Recollection. So this is my first time trying their liquid lipsticks. This color is quite dark, especially on the lips. It's quite a vampy, deep matte purple. Next is their Versicolor Stain. This is in the shade Long Distance Relationship, and I haven't heard much about these, maybe I'm just out of the loop, but this is a really nice creamy lip gloss that stains your lips. So from Sephora, I'm always on the lookout for sets and deals, and they just came out with their new Sephora favorites, Give Me Some Lip. I love these sets, I always recommend them. You always get really good deals in them. You get to try out different products and colors from different brands, and it's always a really good price. You usually get one or two full-size products in the set. So the set retailed for $33, I believe. The first product that comes in the set is their Fresh Sugar Rosé Tinted Lip Treatment. I've tried these before and I really like them. I get a lot of use out of them. So it's a really beautiful tinted lip balm. It is quite sheer as you can see from the swatch. I love the way it smells like lemonade. It's very fresh and hydrating. Next is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss in Lovecraft. Now I thought this was going to be very purple from the packaging. It's a cool tone nude but it's not purple for sure. Okay so this is next to it. A really nice pink cool toned nude and it seems like a really good matte formula. The next one is from Lancome. So this is a full size product which retails for I think $30 by itself. So this is their Juicy Shaker in Boom Meringue. So this one you shake it up. It's got a really cute packaging, a really nice smell as well. It smells very sweet like cotton candy. So this was really nice, a nice hydrating oil. From NARS, the Satin Lip Pencil in Rakujin. So this is about half of their full size. Now they did send us these, I think it was a birthday gift maybe a year or two ago. So a few of you probably already have this color as well. But it's a really nice nude creamy lip pencil. It seems to have a very subtle gold sheen running through it. From Smashbox, they're always on liquid lipstick in Stepping Out. A really warm nude. It seems to dry down very, very matte. The Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Chihuahua. I really like this color. And these, even though they're half sizes, they give you five milliliters of product, which is pretty much a full size for other liquid lipsticks. The color does look quite a bit more brown than in the packaging. I love that set, definitely worth a try. Then there was this set from Kat Von D. So it came with this really cute vegan leather makeup pouch, which is really nice, cute zipper, and a nice tassel there. So it came with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, which I've had the mini size before. I really like it. It's a nice black waterproof liquid liner, really nice fine tip pen, and it lasts really well throughout the day. So I really wanted to get that. 
It comes with the liquid lipstick in Double Dare, which is right up there. So a really nice wearable nude that would suit everyone. Three milliliters is, I think, half of their full size. So it's really good. It's still that adorable packaging. And because it's such a small wand, it's almost easier to apply it versus their full size, which is a really long packaging. Okay, so the last thing that came in the set, I actually gave it to Anya. It's their Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lolita. So I already have Lolita in the liquid lipstick form, so I gave her the little lipstick. For the last two lip products, I got a lipstick from Clinique, their Pop Lip Color and Primer in Passion Pop. So this is a beautiful red lipstick and it's very nice and creamy. So I swatched it beside those purples there. So really nice and pigmented. I'm curious to see how this lasts, especially having a primer built in. I'm curious to see if it'll stain the lips as well. Then from Maybelline, I got their matte lipstick in Siren in Scarlet. I've heard amazing things about these lipsticks and this one seems just a tad brighter and more matte than the one from Clinique. So I'm curious to try that out. I really like the finish and texture of the matte lipsticks. For eyeliners from the drugstore, I wanted to try the Joe Fresh Matte Liquid Eyeliner in black. So it's got a really nice fine tip liner brush. Then for an eyeliner that I'm wearing right now, this is the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Sapphire. And this is so beautiful. A really, really bright blue, super matte finish liner. I really like this. Very easy to apply. It's fully opaque on one application. Three or four people stopped me in a day just to tell me they love that color. So that's awesome. On to face products. I got the Cover Effects Cream Concealer. Just to let you guys know, Cover Effects is 50% off at Shoppers right now. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing it from Shoppers, but if you are interested in their products, definitely go for it now. So I got this in the shade Extra Light. It's a really nice, cute concealer. I got a Clinique Powder, the Acne Solutions Powder Makeup in 6 Ivory. So it's got a really big packaging with a sponge there and then the powder which gives you 10 grams so a pretty good size pressed powder i got two powders from the drugstore the w7 puff perfection i wanted to give this a try this is an all-in-one cream powder compact in fair um this doesn't feel like a cream it's it's very powdery to me i do feel like it gives you light to medium coverage really affordable so I'm excited to try that out and then I repurchased one of my favorite powders the essence mattifying compact powder in light beige I go through these a lot I just really love how they give you a light coverage and really mattify the skin while I was away I purchased a lot of foundations I really wanted to try out a lot of new formulas and there are so many foundations that everyone's talking about right now that I really wanted to give them a try so the first one is the Kat Von D locket foundation so this is a 24 hour wear full coverage transfer resistant matte finish I got this in light 44 cool from Clinique their beyond perfecting foundation and concealer is something I've been really interested in and I really like another one of Clinique's foundations that I've tried so this one is a full coverage it's got a really cool doe foot applicator so you can use this as concealer or foundation. It's a moderate to full coverage, natural matte finish. From Smashbox, I got their Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This is what I have on right now, and this is in shade one. Then two foundations from Makeup Forever. This is their Water Blend Face and Body Foundation. I've never tried this foundation. I think it'll be like a light, hydrating uh, formula so I'm really looking forward to trying that and then the makeup forever ultra HD foundation R250 for the first one and then R230 on the second so I will try those out and make reviews for you so I hope you enjoyed this haul thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video